Hi, you may have seen our series of videos on getting internet in your van. If you haven't, you can click up here for the full playlist. I've had a few queries about how to actually set up the MiFi which we use. So in this video, we're going to go through it in clear, easy steps. So keep watching. Coming soon, I'll be sharing if it's possible to get a good quality 4G MiFi with external antennas for under £50. To make sure you don't miss it, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to click the bell to get a notification when we add new videos. So to start with, there's two things you'll need, a MiFi and a suitable SIM card. You can see our recommendations for data plans by clicking the video link. Once you've opened the back of the MiFi and removed the battery, Make note the label that looks something like this, where you'll have details of the default Wi-Fi name and passwords. Then carefully install the SIM card following the directions in the symbol. Once you put everything back together, switch on the MiFi. Once the MiFi is started up, using the information off the label, connect to the Wi-Fi network. At this stage, it's worth jumping into the browser and doing a quick internet search as lots of MiFi's come prepared, set up for most networks. If it doesn't work, you may need to set up the APN for your network. You can get the details of your APN from your SIM provider. To set this up, you'll need access to the MiFi or router settings. You can access this through a computer browser and the details will be in the instructions for your MiFi but most MiFi's also have an app that you can download to your phone which I find is the easier way. The default login details again will be on that label behind the battery. Once you're in you need to pop into settings, network in this case and then APN. As you can see this one already has a Smarty APN but if it hadn't you can just hit the plus button and enter the details from your service provider. Then your internet will all be set up and working. While you are in the setup pages, there's a few things that you should do. Most importantly, change that default admin password. I also change the network name and the default network password. Remember, once you've changed these, you'll need to re-log in using the new network name and password. If your MiFi has external antenna connections similar to these, you may want to connect an external antenna to boost your signal. Let's take a look at how to do it. If you're not sure what antenna to go for, you might find our video here useful. Just click the link. Once you've got your antenna, the first thing you need to do is mount it. With a sucker or mag mount, it's pretty simple. But some will require a more permanent mounting. Then it's just a case of carefully plugging it into your MiFi and hopefully watching your signal increase. And there we see the signal increase from one bar to two. It's worth noting at this stage that if you're using a Netgear router tied to the Big Pond service, you will always see that detecting service message. Now this isn't an issue, that's just because it can't connect to your account details because you're not using a Big Pond account to show your running total of minutes and data usage. It doesn't stop you using the internet, it's just telling you it can't find your account details. We made a simple plastic bracket where the MiFi can be stored safely, where it can be connected to the antenna and to USB power. Thanks for watching our video and as always, if you have any questions or feedback, please pop them in the comments below. If you find the video useful, please like, share and consider subscribing.